Quinn has a surprisingly hard match against that because if they try to combo off, uh, even with Pestermite that's two power, if they have two of their like higher low, of their like eight to twelve sisters, then you can't do it. All right. Finish casting a spell, its costs aren't locked in. So yeah. uh, I already declared it. Yeah, Most people like if I declare it, then. Somebody to love me. Uh, wait, that's a different song. Uh, are you racing or not? Man, this song. Swing six. I think pain to get white there. Exile. Her creature with power three greater. Three greater. Taking two. Fourteen. Pass. Okay. Go to combat. Before combat. Yeah. So that's exile, right? The rabble? The rabble? Oh yeah, it's exile. It's all good. Mana combo. That's it's actually important though. Yeah. Okay. It's actually very important. Right. Especially with Dig Two Time. Just time. Paint for red. White. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Yep. Eight. I had your time. Take a pain. I took a pain. Actually, 
I'm gonna take two. Play a butcher though. Go ahead. Yeah. Five to one. A lot of different answers. I changed it since the last time I played it. I slapped myself for not having dollars. Dollar game too. Dollar stances in them. Gotcha. Like, why are dollar stances not in this deck? It's a great utility card. Mm -hmm. Dance yeah, seems really good. We have a play. I'm gonna keep. So I trust my dad. I'm gonna trust her. Thank you. Go. Master. Make a token swing. Block that token. You got it. Okay. Red Polish. Jeff. Yep. Crowsher. Mm -hmm. Scratcher. Land go. <coughs> no block. Right here, take three. Second main. 
You deals two damage to you, and you sack a creature with the greatest toughness among creatures you control. choices. Is it just me? Or does the art for Valorous stance basically look like uh, Mortal Obstinacy? You've seen that before? Mm -hmm. It's uh, somewhere in Theros block. It's a dude on the left with some Reach weapon against a giant thing on the right. The fun police are here. <laughs> are you at 10? Uh, no, you're not. Go ahead, sir. The fun police are here. Let's go put it. Go. Yeah. You're the only person I know that taps your lands both ways. <laughs> I know. That's kind of cool. I, I told you, I like I have a seizure. It's all good. Seizure's tapping my lands. How do you get it? Zoe. 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 Zoe.
I guess it's like vanishing light, which is this dude on the left and some giant thing on the right. And he's, the dude on the left is throwing something. Well, the reason I did the, the oh, Rebel Master post combat was because yeah. I wanted it to survive because I had gotcha. the Bowser stance and I wanted and the um, and the are you serious? Uh, and the uh, vanishing light in hand. And I was like, I didn't oh, yeah, see any point yeah. in passing him and swinging and letting him kill wipe the one. I was like, I'm by the way, pass him so anyway. Oh, I, yeah. I just I was talking about the art, but yeah, um, you're right. I mean, I, I've been trying to find times better. I mean, most people probably say she just wouldn't cast him, but I'd rather like. I'd rather swing out with him and then have a lot of mana open and then him thinking, mm -hmm. okay, with all these guys, he's got removal, he's can protect it, I'm gonna wait, all this other yeah, stuff. I so just tapping out for, for a token that's gonna die anyway to a seizure. And I didn't have the mana to get rid of the seizure. Sorry. Makes sense. Uh, I decided into uh, daughter stances against you. So I had no clue what you're doing, but I was like, I'm just gonna sign in stuff that protects my creatures. Stances against you too. I think you talked me into Glare of Heresy though. I think I'm gonna get the shot in my board. What? Glare of, of Heresy? Mm-hmm. It it wrecks a lot of a lot of things. I think I like it. I, I got rid of that those because I just didn't see any point. Like, what am I going to do? Bounce your Seer Dryno back to your hand? I mean, it's great if I have a lot of board state, but as much control as you, I feel like you had. I was like, there's no point. Oh, Lord. Wait, you decide them out? Yeah. I thought it'd be great against me. Well, I said it in anger. Oh, okay, that's even better against me. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right, I can protect mine better than I can protect them. So there you go. I, I really like enjoyed this build. Like mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's pretty good. I really like this deck. That one? Yeah. That's a lot of fun is it the five, five color, color aggro. Five color aggro. That's what you want to call it, just five color aggro? I mean that's what it's called. It's not oh it's called okay, yeah, gotcha. I didn't know there was some crazy name for it. Yeah. You know. this, this is magic after all. This is all I've added since like the the addition. I've added two of those and two Valor stances from like the other builds I've seen. I just okay. think like he just he just I can play him out early if I already know what I'm playing against, and like like second game if I know this it's not like a like so mid range deck and I can just start swinging. Yeah. But if it's like a late game, I can hold him back and hope the guy runs out of ways he can remove him and then just start returning, just like bouncing life. You know, five mana for. Uh, for, for two life and two damage every turn with the with a wild slash or six mana with the you start returning magma jets you just start setting up everything and, yeah. or lightning strikes it's just it's really silly Stokes can get funny too <laughs> it's a super late game yeah. I like returning the Jeskai charm because then it's like returning my best utility my, one of my best utility cards or, I mean even even dollar stance I can return it back to my hand. Mm. it's cool yeah. oh no I like